Hello everyone, I'm Kerry Lou and welcome to Silver Style Studio. So many of you have told me how much you love cream blushes and that you prefer them for mature skin. It's true, cream blush is so much kinder to dry aging skin. So I thought it would be a good idea if I tested and reviewed some. A couple of these are old favorites, but some of them are newbies. I tried to represent all price points, so I think I have all budgets covered here. Since there are so many new blushes out there, it can be confusing to find the right one for you. Some have really strong pigment and some hardly show. Some blend really well and others take a bit more work to apply. Hopefully, after you watch this video, you'll have a sense of what might be a good cream blush choice for you. I'm going to show you several cream blushes. I'll be demonstrating on my face because that's more accurate than doing swatches on a wrist, for example. I'll be removing my makeup off camera in between showing you the different brands. Sometimes I'll be doing this on a different day, actually. You'll see that I'm dressed different and my hair looks different. At the end of this video, you'll find a chart of all the blushes reviewed here. This is going to help you see the different characteristics of each brand. And hopefully that's going to make your choice of blush a lot easier. So the first blush on my list is Glossier Cloud Paint. I bought two of their colors. This one I purchased because I knew it would be great for me. This color is Storm. And I purchased this color because I knew it would be great for my clients who have darker coloring. This color is Dawn. So this will go straight into my professional makeup kit. I wish I could wear it, but it's totally the wrong color for me, unfortunately. I really love these tubes. They remind me of my oil paints. I love to paint on canvases as well as on people's faces. So. You can see how dark the pigment is. It's very concentrated, so you only need a little bit. Since it's this dark, I'm going to just dab it on my hand a little bit first to get used to the texture. And I'm just going to pat it on the apples of my cheeks and work my way back a little bit. It goes on really fast. Just put a little bit more under here. I'm going to add a little bit more because it, it dries quite quickly. Some of these cream blushes have a longer play time than others. And that's a term I use to let you know how long it, you have to play with it, literally. So this one has a quick play time, meaning you really have to move fast. So this is how the Glossier Cloud Paint Blush looks. What do you think? I like it. But let's see how it builds up because I know some people like it a little bit brighter. So I'm just going to apply a tad more. Whoops, it really is quite runny. You have to be careful with this one. So I'll put it on my hand a little bit beforehand. Just tap, tap, tap. Now this really does dry quite quickly. So it might not be right for everybody. I think you have to be quite confident where it's going. And once it's on, it, it's on. You, you can't blend it down so much. Okay, so you see the color is looking a bit more intense. That's a good thing. So you can get it to the intensity that you like. I'll put a little bit on the other side. But a little goes a long way. There. That's quite bright, but I know some people like a nice rosy glow, just a healthy look, and some people like it a bit more intense. So maybe this one is for people who like a little bit more of an intense color. So please stay tuned for the next blush on my list. It's Maybelline Cheek Heat. Today I'm going to try Maybelline's Cheek Heat in Rose Flush. So as you can see, they're going with this paint tube inspired packaging like the Glossier blush I showed you yesterday. So you might think they're similar, but they are in fact very different. Okay, so this is very soft. You don't have a strong pigment here. I'll just put a little of the cloud paint from yesterday's review next to it. Now you can see the difference. Cloud paint from yesterday is 
so much stronger. Now the fact that the Maybelline cheek heat is so soft is not necessarily a bad thing because strong pigment can be a bit scary to some people. If you have trouble blending your makeup properly, cheek heat is probably the right choice for you. Okay, so let's apply it on my face and see how it looks. Okay, so I'll just put, start with a little bit. You can always build up, you can always add more. If you put a big blob in the beginning, it can be kind of hard to get rid of. And sometimes I, I definitely am guilty of doing that. So, um, this actually goes on a lot smoother than yesterday's cloud paint, the Glossier cloud paint. So this is a lot easier to apply. And I don't really think I need any more than that. Like I said yesterday, it's a good idea to apply some. And if you think you need more, just leave it for a few minutes. Look in another mirror maybe that has different lighting and then see what you think. Sometimes the skin does absorb blush. I'm just going to put some on the other cheek. This is so quick. We all like quick, right? And if you do feel like you, you added a bit too much, you can always take a brush, a, a makeup brush or a makeup sponge and you can just take it around the perimeter of what you just did and then it's gone. I also, as you probably know, if you like, if you watch my videos, I put a little bit around my forehead area, around the temples. Sometimes that can look a little bit strong. I'll just take some away. And that's it. So what do you think of this look? Do you like a stronger look or do you like a soft natural look like this? I do like this for when you don't want to look like you're wearing any makeup, but you do want to look healthy and vibrant. So this would um, definitely be a choice for me. Please stay tuned for Clinique's Chubby Sticks. So today I'm going to give you two for one. And this blush has been around for a long time, but I would be remiss if I didn't include it in Cheek Week. It's Clinique's Chubby Stick in Roly Poly Rosy. And because they go so well together, I'm showing you the Chubby Stick Sculpting Contour too. Hmm, lots of chubbies around here. So let's go. I have on my regular everyday makeup, but not blush. I've listed all the other makeup I'm wearing in the video description below. So this is the Clinique Chubby Stick. I really like this form of blush because you can literally draw it on <laughs> wherever you want it without making a mess. And it blends really well. Now that looks crazy strong. Let's see what happens. I might have totally messed up here by making that great big stripe on my face. <laughs> oh, never mind. We'll use this brush there. Okay, just shows you how you can fix things, right? I did that on purpose. Okay. No, I'm actually liking this because I find that I generally don't wear my blush strong enough. Like it, it disappears really quickly. There, now just a nice glow. Let's see if I can do the other side and make it match. I always say, if you do an accident on one side, try to do the same accident on the other, otherwise it will come odd. Like ordinarily, I would put just little pops of color like you've seen me doing in the past, but I decided to be bold this time. And I thought I messed up, but actually I kind of like how this is looking. And that just shows you how this one is kind of idiot proof. Yes, I was a bit of an idiot just now putting it on that boldly, but wow, I really like this a lot. And I am wearing a brighter lipstick today, so I feel like because I'm wearing a brighter lip, I can go a little bit brighter with the cheek too. That's really nice. If you like, you could go directly uh, to the tube with a brush. This is my stipple brush from my brush line. All the info for the brushes is in the video description too. 
Simple as that. That was really easy. And it feels very comfortable on the face too. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels like you have nothing on. So next I am going to show you the contour stick. Um, I did try this once before, before this demonstration, and I found that it, it did go on kind of strong too. So you, want, you can either use your fingertips or you could just dot it on very gently to begin with. And I'm putting it right under my cheekbone. Like that. So that makes it look a lot warmer and I'm using the stipple brush again just to get that all blended. So if you like a little bit of a tanner look, like that kind of warms it up a little bit. I'm just blending that down a little bit here. I'm a little bit heavy handed today, but that's okay. Sometimes I'm too light handed and it hardly shows. So you can tap a little bit around your face, give yourself a nice sunny look. Put a little bit more under here, I think. You see the difference? It gives my face just more shape. You can go straight from the tube or you use your fingers or you can use a brush. Just do what feels the most comfortable to you. And um, I think it would be even difficult to streak this. This is so easy to apply. I really like this one. You could put a little bit around here. I always like to carve out my face just a little bit because I've got these soft it's on my jaw here it makes your jaw look a little bit firmer and that's it what do you think I really like this bright and sunny look it makes me look like I've had a nice weekend in the countryside coming up next Burt's Bees all aglow blush and wet and wild mega glow makeup stick blush so let's pick up the pace a bit I know you don't have all day I don't know why I was doing these demos one blush at a time. After all, I have two cheeks. Well, four really. Here's the Burt's Bees All Aglow Blush in Peony Pool. Let's see how it stacks up against the others. So let's take a look. Okay, so it has a center that's moisturizing and it's made of coconut oil. And I love coconut oil. I love cooking with it. It's a great skin moisturizer in general. So let's see how this goes on. Wow, it goes on very smooth. And I like this color. It's a nice neutral color. I think you can wear this if you have a cool complexion or if you're on the warm side also. So I think this is kind of mistake proof. I like this formula. Goes on super quick. This is nice if you want to give the appearance that you're not wearing any makeup at all. It just gives a nice healthy glow and it actually does have a nice sheen. So now I'm going to turn the other cheek and enter, uh, what are you called? It's in French, baton de maquillage. Hmm, oh, on the other side it's in English. Makeup stick. Well, I think the French way sounded a lot more posh, don't you? Let's try it. Okay, so this looks like it's almost the same color as the Burt's Bees, but it seems to be more opaque and uh, maybe more pigmentation. So that means it's going to show up more and it's going to probably last longer throughout the day. So again, it's a nice moisturizing formula, great for wrinkles or softening the wrinkles, I should say. Hmm, I like this. I might like this a little bit better, and guess what? It's the least expensive of the whole bunch. It's only about $6. What? Good deal, ladies. Okay, so how do you like them? How do you like the baton de maquillage? All you French ladies out there can correct my pronunciation, please. Thank you. Okay, there are two more cream blushes headed your way. But don't forget, there's a chart at the end of this video where I've scored each product on price, pigmentation, 
blendability, quantity of product in the package, in other words, how much bang you get for your buck. For our final blushes, I'll be trying cream blush from Honest Beauty and one from Milk Makeup. The next one is from Honest Beauty. I like this packaging. It's nice and simple. Look at this pretty color. I really like it. It's a little, I suppose it's on the warm side. My skin is kind of natural though, so I feel like I can go either way. Okay, it's going on smoothly. Not quite as smooth as those two previous sticks, but um, not bad either, not bad. Maybe, yes, if I pat it on like that, it tends to work a little better. And I'm going to show you a little trick here. Um, if you want to give yourself a glow, like you've had a nice weekend, hiking, doing something healthy, here's what you can do. Um, pat some blush on your cheeks, like I was just doing, and then when you have not much left on your finger, just take it across your nose a little bit. Now that shouldn't look like blush on your nose. It's just going to give you a little glow, which is what happens when you're out walking in the sun, perhaps. And as you've probably seen in my other videos, my earlier videos, I like to, when I don't have too much left on my fingers, I like to just rub it around the perimeter of my face. And you hardly see it, but it just gives you a nice glow. So this one is by um, Honest Beauty. And uh, Jessica Alba actually founded this company. So it's been worth checking out. Okay, last but not least, on the other cheek, I want to show you this cream blush by Milk Makeup. This one comes in a generous one ounce stick form. These sticks do make it easy to apply. This color is actually very similar to the NARS Orgasm. Some of you may be familiar with that iconic color from NARS. I love the sheen that it gives my cheekbones, so let's try this. Packaging's really great too. I'm a sucker for good packaging. Look at this. Oh, that's nice. I really like this color. It's very vibrant. It goes on nice. It's a nice fat stick, so it covers very quickly. Now this feels weighty because you get a full one ounce in this. I think that's more than any of the other blushes that I've shown you. So it's a little bit pricier, not too much. Check out the chart at the end of this video and it will have the prices, how much quantity in each package. You'll be able to make an informed decision that way. And I'm going to tap a little bit around here. If you've seen some of my other videos, you'll notice that I have been checking out some milk products. They do a nice foundation stick. I really like the company. It's nice clean looking makeup. And you can, you can build it up until you get the intensity that you like. You can use it as a lip color too, if, if you want to uh, just go with a natural looking lip color. So there you get two for one. It's a good deal. So what do you like? I think I know which one I like. <laughs> I hope this gave you some good information about how to choose the right cream blush for you. If you liked it, please subscribe. And I hope you have a cheeky day. I'll see you next time. Bye.